Hello everyone, in this lesson we are going to create the first scene in our game, a title scene. As I mentioned in the previous lesson, scenes are the screens in our game. For example, in this course we are going to have a battle screen, a menu screen, title screen and world maps. Each one of these will be represented by a scene. In addition, the title screen is the first one the player will see in the game, and it is also the most simple one to implement. That's why we will start by implementing the title scene. So here I am with the code from the previous lesson, and the first thing I'm going to do is creating a new directory called scenes. So here inside the source, I'm going to create a new folder called scenes, and all scenes code that we use in our game will be in the scenes directory. This way we can organize our code. Then inside this folder, I'm going to create a title scene.js file. In order to create a scene, we need to create a class that extends phaser.scene. So here we create a new class called title scene, which extends phaser.scene. This is the phaser scene class we need to extend. And it is the same we have created here. So let's start by creating the constructor. In the constructor, we need to call the constructor from phaser.scene by calling super, and it expects as parameter the key with the name of the scene. So we are going to send a key like title scene to tell phaser that this scene here is called title scene. In the end, after creating the class, we need to export it so that it can be created in the main.js file. So export the full title, title scene. Now we are going to add two methods in our title scene, preload and create. The preload method is called by phaser when the scene has just started and before any sprite has been created. So it is the correct place to load the assets for our game. The only asset we are going to use here is the background image. So let's add it. Let's create a preload method and inside of it, Let's call this.load.image. This.load will access the loader object from phaser and the image method will load an image from our assets folder. So we need to send pass those two parameters here. The first one is the key we are going to use to create a sprite of this image later. In our case, it will be background image. And the second one is the path of this asset. Here I have added in the assets folder an image folder with all the images you are going to use in this course. You can download all these images from the course source code and then you can copy and paste the image folder to the assets here. And here inside images and battle you will see a background.png image. This is the image we are going to use as the background of our title screen. So let's go back to our title scene and here we are going to create to load assets slash images slash battle slash background dot png. That's enough for loading the image. Now after loading all the assets, phaser will call the create method. Since we are sure that all assets have been already loaded in the create method, we can start creating sprites. So let's create the create method. And here, we are going to create the background sprite. We call this.add.sprite. This.add is similar to this.load, but here we have the object factory and not the loader. So like the loader will load different assets, the object factory will create different objects. In our case, we want to create a sprite. So we call the sprite method of the object factory here. And the parameters we need to send are the position of our sprite, in our case it will be 0, 0, and the asset we are going to use. In our case we want to use the background image. This name here must be the same name as here. That's the key of the asset we are going to use. And also we want the origin of the, this sprite to be the up left corner and not its center. By default, phaser tree sets the orange of the sprite as the center. So the position 0, 0 here will be the position of the center of the background. And we want the position 0, 0 to be the position of the upper left corner. 
So what I'm going to do is setting background dot set origin zero zero. So basically, we are moving the origin of the sprite to its coordinate zero zero, which is its upper left corner. And now we need to create this title scene in the main.js. So first we need to import it. So import title scene from scenes slash title scene. And then here, instead of creating a game scene, we're going to create a title scene, new title scene. We don't need to send the name here because it's already set by default as title scene. And now we need to change this config object. We are not going to create the game anymore with the initial scene here. So let's remove this here. And instead, after creating the game, we are going to add the scene, the scenes we want to add. For now, we're only going to add the title scene. So let's add a new scene called title scene and its object is the title scene you have created here. And then we tell the game to start the titles. We are going to use this later to add multiple scenes in our game. So we can create like the title scene, the battle scene, the world scene, and other scenes. And then we can add them here to the game and start the title scene that we want to start. Now let's test it. So again, call npm run dev in the terminal and it will open the terminal. The, it will open the browser with your game. So here it is working. It is creating the background in the position 00, zero that we wanted. However, the way we are creating our code here is actually not good. For example, suppose that while developing our game, we decide to add another, other things to this title screen, such as a title message. We can do that by going to the create method and creating another text sprite. For example, here in the title scene, we could create a title text. Title text equals this dot add dot text. So instead of calling the sprite method, we are calling the text method. And we can set a coordinate like 100 and 100. And the text can be phaser RPG. Now, if you go back to our game, it will update automatically and it will show the phaser RPG text message here. So it's working. However, doing this every time we need to add a new sprite to our game will quickly lead to overly complex game scenes with a code that is hard to understand. Also, if you are working in a team, the level designer is not necessarily a programmer, and he or she will not like having to understand coding to add things to the game levels. So what we need here is a level file. The level file will have all objects that will be present in a scene. Remember that a scene in Phaser is like a level in our game. Then. The game scene will read this level file and properly create the necessary objects. This will require some other scenes to help reading this file, like a boot scene and a loading scene. But this way, if you or the game level designer wants to add more things to the scene, it is only necessary to change the level file here. You don't need to change those other scenes here. So you can add more things to your game without touching the game code. Don't worry if you're confused about those other scenes here, the boot scene and the loading scene. They will be explained one at a time in the next lessons. As an exercise, I recommend that you start thinking what information you should put in the JSON level file, this level file here. In the next lesson, I'm going to start explaining it and we are going to refine it along the course. And that's it for this lesson.